welcome back to my channel. Do excuse the fact I'm wearing zero makeup right now, but this is going to be a little bit of a makeup video. Um, I am no expert in makeup. I'm basically someone who uses the most simple, basic thing I possibly can just to make myself look human. I'm just putting on this Airbrush Away Primer. I have already moisturised and yeah, washed my face this morning and moisturised. But I am putting this on first. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just do this because it's been a long, long time since I did a makeup video. And I'm currently getting ready for some of my 30th birthday celebrations. It's my 30th on Thursday and it's not Monday evening and I'm going out with some friends. I did go out yesterday with um, some other friends as well and we went to Hickory's, I had a couple of cocktails, it was beautiful, it was like a really really lovely evening so it was a lovely little start to my 30th birthday celebrations, I've got a few days off work, let me just grab what I need. So yeah, I thought I'd have another meal tonight, I'm basically just celebrating with loads and loads of food. I'm putting this foundation on with an e.l.f. complexion brush which I've had for quite a while, as you can tell by the end, it's a little bit like worn. Um, I do need to get a new one. You can buy them for like £6 on Amazon. I think I just saw that it was recommended by somebody on Instagram or something ages ago, so I bought it and I've loved it. So, um, And this is the foundation that I'm using. It's Stay Perfect Super Light Foundation, which I've been using for years now, and I just don't like to use any other foundation. I've got it in the warm beige for, for tonight because... I've got a little bit of tan on, so usually I use the calico colour. Calico? I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Um, but today I'm using this one just to kind of give my face a little bit more warmth to match my tan. Because I don't like to tan my actual face, I'll just kind of do it up to my neck and yeah, my face is like a ghost. This is weird putting makeup on while I'm filming, it feels a bit strange. And I'm using a different mirror to what I usually use the mirror behind me, so it feels a bit weird using this little mirror. Oh, I think I can turn it around and make it zoomed in. Nope, that's horrible. That just feels like I haven't got my glasses on, it's all like fuzzy. Wait, I hope I'm blending it okay. Literally, this has got to be the most like <laughs> laziest way to put foundation on ever. I literally just put little blobs around my face and then just blend it all in with this brush. This foundation just feels like you're not wearing anything and it's like that's all I want it to feel like. I hate feeling the foundation on my face. So this is just perfect. And I like to think it looks like I'm not wearing anything. Um, okay, that's that done. I'm trying to have a chat with you whilst actually putting my makeup on which feels a bit weird. I have had my eyebrows done this week so because they're literally invisible naturally um, so I just need to just kind of brush them with this brush this is from I think I got it from super jug or something it's an Isla Isla number 20 mid brown so I literally just kind of fill in the gaps just a tiny bit I don't like my eyebrows to look like they're done too much but when I get them tinted and waxed, it just kind of gives them that little bit of a shape. Ah, which lasts a good few weeks before they start to fade again. And then I just find it really, really difficult. You just get to a point where you're trying to draw the line and you're just like, no, they need to get redone. Okay. I hate it when you look like you've got foundation lips. It's not a good look. Not a good look. This is the eyeshadow that I'm using. It's a Clinique set and I've had it for years and I literally went through a phase of using it and then didn't use it and now I'm back to using it. All I do is use this colour here and I literally, I hope my makeup comes out right considering I'm looking in this random mirror tonight and I literally just do that. It's all, you know, it's very skilled work that I'm doing here. This is basically how not to do makeup probably but I don't know, see what you think at the end of the video, or if you know me, and um, this is this is how I do it, this is how I make myself look human, because tonight is a special night, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter, if I can find it, I think, this is number seven, and I think this came with, this is just called Pink Blossom, is that the right one? Yeah, it doesn't look like Pink Blossom, it's 
basically like a goldy colour and it's got a little bit of glitter in it and when I go out I do tend to just add this as well I just bring that mirror down I can't um, close one eye by the way so it's not very helpful usually I kind of hold the other way share with my <laughs> with my hand it's a little bit difficult or do I keep one open? I don't know what I do but anyway it is hard to do without doing something this is going to come up terribly I don't know how I'm going to do the eyeliner I don't think this is coming out very well is it let me just check in the other mirror that I'm doing it correctly I literally just went over to the other mirror and added just a little bit more just because I felt like it wasn't quite enough so that's the eyeshadow the eyeshadow I think I got in one of those buy so many number seven products and you get like a free gift set and that came in that I think and this came in the number seven Christmas calendar I think and this is powder blush in honey now don't often use blush um what brush is this i think this is a bare minerals brush but it doesn't have any writing on um i'm pretty sure that's where that came from so all i do is just dab a little bit of that and i don't often use it but since getting this for christmas i've been i've been giving it a bit more of a go i just brush it there probably in the completely wrong place I don't know. I'm no pro. And then the same again on the other side. And I feel like it's just been giving me a nice little glow. Foundation does that, doesn't it? It covers, even though this one's really, really light, it just covers that colour you've got in your cheeks, which is good for me because my pinky toned skin. But sometimes you just feel like you need a little bit back to give your cheeks some definition. This is where the eyeliner comes in. This is where it gets dangerous and I might not be able to do it camera at all but yeah I'm gonna have to do it over there okay this is the best angle I can think of to do my eyeliner I am really um like a novice at doing eyeliner as if I wasn't a novice at everything else um so I really do have to concentrate so this is the eyeliner I'm using and it's one that I got from number seven Christmas calendar again and it's just a stay perfect amazing eye pencil in black and it's just really soft and easy to put on because I hate those ones that they just don't come off unless you really really press this gives me a nice soft line so i'm just going to not talk <laughs> is that the weirdest way you've ever seen anyone put eyeliner on obviously with me not being able to close one eye <laughs> i have to force this shirt I also just put a tiny bit just on the bottom line in the corner yeah and that's how I do my eyeliner so it's just like the tiniest tiniest line because I really don't like much with me being so fair skinned and without using a heavy foundation you don't want really really thick makeup on your eyes um, so I feel like that just gives me a little bit literally before Christmas before I got this eyeliner I wasn't using any because every single one that I tried was just useless on my skin. Um, sometimes I just need to top up my mascara, not mascara, top up my <laughs> eyeshadow. I know makeup names because, oh no, wrong one, that's not the one I'm using. Top it up because obviously I've had my fingers all over my eyes now to try and hold one shirt. Does anybody else have this problem not being able to shut like one eye and keep the other one open because it's very, very frustrating. Everyone's gonna be like, what is going on with your makeup tonight, Kat? I've done it in a mirror that doesn't give me much light over here. Right, okay. That is that. That's pretty much everything apart from my um, lips and my mascara. So the mascara that I'm using at the moment is another one that came from my number seven Christmas calendar and it is Lash Extender. Infinite lash length and volume, and it really is like a really, really good mascara. I pretty much just use whatever I've got free one push and other makeup products, whatever has come in these number seven Christmas calendars, and this one is proving to be quite good. Now, I use eyelash curlers, but I'm just going to go and heat them up with a hairdryer. I literally just heat them up for two seconds. Um, oh, with the hairdryer. And then get as close to pos as possible to the eye. I leave it on for a couple of seconds and do a couple of like, like 
kind of squeeze it every now and again. Is that weird? I don't know. I'm actually going to be late for my own meal in a minute if I don't hurry up my makeup. It usually takes me like two minutes. Because I'm chatting away, it's taking a little bit longer. Can you see the difference though? With my little invisible eyelashes. This really makes a massive difference. Now I did have my eyelashes, um, like an eyelash, oh, what do you call it? An eyelash lift done just before Christmas. So it's been a couple of months now, so they pretty much have gone back down to normal. I did have them tinted as well. I just kind of do a good coat on the top lash. I feel like I've put mascara in my eyes somewhere. Um, and then just do a coat on the bottom as well, just to get rid of anything that was underneath. Adding a little bit more on there. Right, okay. All I need to do now is put some lips on. Can't go out without lips, can you? Um, and all I'm using, still using this, which I have been for ages and ages, Clinique Chubby Stick. And they cost about £16, but they last ages, and I, I literally wear it all the time, as you could see. Uh, I literally. Just put a coat of that on, which makes my lips a little bit more colourful. A little bit more colourful without making myself like too overdone. Just because I like that kind of natural look. I don't know whether this is a natural look, but this is my natural look. Um, this is pretty much my everyday makeup, bar the sparkliness and the eyeliner, I suppose. Why is that so loud? That is my makeup all done. I'm really sorry about this lighting. I'm sorry this video isn't to an amazing standard, but hopefully um, this just gives you an idea of a simple way to do your makeup um, if you're looking for any new kind of products, any questions, um, just or any tips on how to do my makeup, just put them in the comments please and I'm sure I will reply pretty quickly because um, I don't have a life. If you like this kind of amateur video, please stick around and subscribe. I do try and um, post once a week now that I've kind of had that Christmas break off. Um, I'll be back on track now, I think. Um, so yeah, this is just, I thought, what am I showing you? I'm, all I'm doing is trying to show you that I'm wearing a nice little green shirt dress. All I've done is just curl my hair. I had it done on Friday, so it's feeling like the best it can feel at the moment, which is nice. Um, and I'm trying to stay off the blonde highlights. This is like up to here's my natural, seeing how long I can go without dyeing it again. Won't last very long, probably. Anyway. That's enough chit chat for me. I'm going to be late for my meal. I'm going out for an Indian. It's like the best thing ever. Right, I'll see you next week when I'm probably 30. Probably 30. I will be 30 in my next video. I think, unless I randomly do another one this week. It's exciting stuff. See you soon. <laughs>